You just can't beat the originals. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 manga series. But there will be a time when I'll benefit from this. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. It doesn't matter if they're still in serialization or finished decades ago, the title of best manga is up for grabs for all of these Japanese comics. It will greatly affect our hospital's reputation. You have only yourself to blame. Number 10, Vagabond. Edo period Japan was a tough old time. Vagabond tells the tale of Musachi Miyamoto, one of Japan's most prolific samurai. The series details all of his most gargantuan battles in his quest to become the greatest swordsman in history. The visuals are much more realistic than most manga series you may have seen, and this works quite well in the flavor of its historical context. Spanning over 37 volumes, this series may be a bit of a commitment, but it's well worth the effort. Number 9, Naruto. Naruto? Okay, so you're either gonna love us or hate us for putting this one on the list, but chances are you've experienced Naruto to some capacity and maybe even enjoyed it? Either way, when we were first introduced to Kanoha's favorite knuckleheaded ninja, it was a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Proclaiming that he would someday become the Hokage, his quest faces conflict after conflict, but his will is unshakable. Although the manga definitely has its low points, the highs will always resonate with us. Number 8, Dragon Ball. A story about a little boy with a tail on a quest to find all seven Dragon Balls. Who are we kidding? Chances are you're already familiar with Akira Toriyama's magnum opus, but we're obligated to recommend this to any fan of the franchise. As interested as I am to see this trick of yours, time is short. From its humble beginnings all the way to the planet-shattering brawls, this manga encompasses the entire Dragon Ball mythos. It's also pretty easy to recommend the original to anyone who doesn't quite have the patience for episode-long power-ups. <laughs> Number 7, Death Note. Exactly as planned. Life as a god of death can get pretty boring. As such, it's hard to blame Ryuk for dropping his notebook, which has the power to, coincidentally, kill anyone whose name is written inside into the human world. It just so happens that it falls into the hands of the perfect candidate. Light Yagami uses his newfound powers to see his desires come to life, and consequently become the god of the new world. Expertly written by Obatsugumi and accompanied by the unparalleled artwork of Takeshi Obata, Death Note is the total package. Number 6, Monster. Dr. Tenma! Dr. Tenma! We simply couldn't make a manga list without including one of the works of the manga legend Naoki Urasawa. Monster tells the story of Kenzo Tenma, a genius doctor who opts to treat a young boy suffering a gunshot wound rather than a politician. His choice at first seems fruitful, but after his enemies start getting murdered one by one, Tenma can tell that something just ain't right. Though fans of Urasawa's work may prefer 20th century boys or Pluto, our vote goes to this masterpiece. Number 5, Full Metal Alchemist. I think I have a good feeling about this one. It is dictated in the rules of alchemy that in order to gain something, you must exchange something of equal value. The Elric Bros learn this the hard way when they lose their bodies, or at least parts of them, in an attempt to resurrect their mom. Their tragedy only feeds their desire, and soon their research for the Philosopher's Stone leads them into conspiracy, murder, and homunculus. You may be more familiar with the anime adaptations, but the original manga version is the definitive Full Metal Alchemist experience. Number 4, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Beginning with Fist of the North Star meets Wuthering Heights and taking it from there, this entry has spanned over 8 bizarre installments. Each follows one of the Joestar descendants, who seem to find themselves in the most peculiar of conflicts, including vampires and murderers with hand fetishes. Jojo has proved to evolve itself throughout its installments, keeping the manga fresh and engaging. Hell, the series has reached such high esteem that its characters were even featured in the windows of Gucci stores. Number 3, Oyasumi Panpan. Asano Inio has proven himself to be a mangaka in a field of his own, with works like Solanin and Girl on the Shore, but none stand out quite as much as Oyasumi Panpan, telling the tale of the troubled youth who falls for the equally if not more disturbed Aiko. This manga series is one that will both comfort and make you feel very uncomfortable from time to time. Despite its cutesy covers, Oyasumi Panpan is likely the darkest entry on this list, and one that will profoundly affect you. Number 2, One Piece. 
When Monkey D. Luffy proclaimed that he would someday be the King of Pirates back in 1997, we had no idea for what a wild and long ride we were in for. From secret fishman islands to kingdoms run by dastardly tyrants, it seems that wherever Luffy lays his straw hat, there is bound to be a brawl. It really does beg the question where Iichiro Oda does get the strength to write a series that stands as the highest grossing manga series of all time. And fortunately for us, it has no signs of letting up anytime soon. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Berserk. No, stop it! Don't kill me! And what is it you said when those people begged you for mercy? Following the struggles of ex-mercenary Guts, after what can only be the most horrendous of anime backstories, Berserk tackles the terrifying themes of love, loss, and pure carnage. Though the argument can be made that Berserk may never see its ending, and the seemingly endless hiatuses have damaged its reputation greatly, there simply isn't any other series that puts together the horror, action, and absolutely stunning visuals the way that Berserk does. <laughs> Not even the anime adaptations, though good, seem to capture its edge. Needless to say, Kentaro Miura's classic high fantasy manga series takes home our trophy for best manga series. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.